Hey everyone, it's Mateen again from AffEngineer.com. Uh, this is the first video I'll be going through, uh, which is officially part of this tutorial set of videos. Um, it's going to be about research and researching using free method, free methods out there available to us. Um, there's a lot of different websites you can use for this. Uh, before I used to use teespringcom discover pretty regularly actually, and for the most part did pretty well. I mean, there's a lot of designs and ideas you can get from this. Um, but, for example, you know, this is this is just, this is pretty current. This is of today, which is 31st of July. June, July, yep. 31st of July. And uh, you can see these shirts are selling pretty well. Trust me, I'm an engineer. Now, I've been doing Teespring for a while, so I know that these have been selling for quite a while actually maybe the last three to four months they've been relaunching them and uh, my, they've probably sold over 10,000 maybe even 20,000 of these shirts made a crap load of money just from selling this particular design in different colors um, but back in the day I mean it would be pre it's pretty easy to see this kind of design would would probably work for trust me I'm a I'm a mechanic or trust me I'm a tradie trust me I'm a a nurse, trust me, I'm a civil engineer, trust me, I'm a, you know, any insert profession here, anything. And that was when Teespring was pretty unexplored, so that's what I kind of mean by getting inspiration, where you, you see a design that's working, see how it's applicable to different types of niches. Um, German Shepherd Mum, that can be done for German Shepherd Dad. Uh, you, can t you can, instead of German Shepherd, you can probably put Husky, Labrador, Siberian Husky, Pitbull. I don't have a dog, so I'm not very familiar. But you don't need to have a dog to kind of know what this is. But, um, and you can try and sell it to the States, UK. You might want to use Fabrily, see if it works in UK. Maybe even try some different countries where German Shepherds are a popular breed to have. Um, this one's pretty cool. Vietnam Vet. So this is not just directed at veterans, but veterans that fought in the Vietnam War, and that's a pretty good. You know, later on we'll be going through layering, which is where your design gets more and more easy to sell as it appeals to a specific demographic. And the more layered it is, the better it sells to a specific demographic. So layering means that it's not a generic shirt; it actually appeals to a set demographic. So, I think there's another one I saw earlier. This one here, daughter of a Vietnam veteran. So that's, there you've got a daughter of someone that's fought in the Vietnam War and is a veteran. So, there's about two to three layers there. Um, so that's a pretty specific design, isn't it? If that pops up on on your newsfeed and you're a daughter of a Vietnam vet, then that's gonna, you're going to be like, wow, this is this is so me. I need to get something like this. And it's, um, of course, they're going to be passionate about their own dad risking his life to fight in a different country f for their country. Um, so, you don't want something generic, like like a boss, HTTP double dot slash slash. I don't even know who, how they even sell this stuff, but that's, they've probably got fan pages. But something like that, that's really generic. When you see a design, you want to think about What's the set of demographic you can sell this to? Who are you going to sell this to? To you want a demographic where, generally, generally speaking, your audience is between twenty thousand to two hundred thousand. That's the that's what I aim for. And when I if I can't get an audience within that within that range, then then I really double think whether or not I'm going to go ahead with this design. I usually try everything though, so you just, you just never know. I've had success with an audience over a million before. Um, you can always use eBay, so I just went to ebay.com earlier and I, and I searched funny veteran shirt. Um, and you see different types of veteran shirts. Battle of the Naughty Step Veteran. But, I mean, you can also go funny shirt. Just general. And see what people have um, branched out into. Um, 
See, these are all too generic for me. I can't. I won't be able to sell any of these. Well, I don't think. Oh, and what you want to do is once you come here, you want to click the sold listings. So these are shirts that are actually selling. You don't want to be trying designs that look good, but haven't been proven to to sell. You want to be selling shirts that are actually um, selling in eBay or anything else. So you, let's go funny dad shirt. There we go. So the man behind the bump. That's pretty cool. So that's that. That can be sold to obviously men that or men that are married or maybe not married, but maybe you can split test married and engaged or single or in a relationship. Sorry, um, where they're expecting a kid, and you can you can target that on Facebook. So that could work pretty well actually. So what I normally do is I have a notepad open where I just save you know, save ideas and then at the end of the day I've got maybe five or six ideas I want to try and then I just go ahead and make designs for them. So there's one there. I'm the baby daddy. Top dad. That's pretty cool. That can be sold to dads that like Top Gear. They would get that. They would get that. Well, I might actually try that actually. Something similar to that. Maybe a different font. Maybe put the gear on the right side. Oh no, that's the Top Gear symbol, isn't it? But you can maybe add Maybe you can add a different little slogan there or something. Maybe the Top Gear slogan. You can make a spoof of it. Um, you've also got this website here, which is pretty cool. It's called Webster.me slash search, um, where you can search a tag, and it'll give you all the kind of photos that have come with that tag attached to it. So I searched, I want this shirt. So if I were to go back, you'd see, this is what I searched. I want this shirt. And then there's... 5,836 people that did that, but then there's 77 that did, I want this shirt so bad, so I click that. You can go through all of these. You don't need to lift like a hundred different shirts. You can just go five and every day do three or four different designs. That's what I do. Three or four different designs a day. And then I go through this and see if there's any of these shirts that I can kind of get inspiration of. Mm. If it doesn't have to do with Sherlock, Doctor, Sherlock, Doctor Who or Food, then I don't care. That's a pretty good shirt in terms of scalability. So you can you can replace this this with different other other books. So I don't read books, so instead of Sherlock you can put um I don't know. I don't read. But some other author, some other author that's famous. Um and you can put instead of Doctor Who maybe you can put oh what's that? Game of Thrones, so you can put Game of Thrones or food, then I don't care, and you can sell that to Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones fans. So there you go. There's a, there's a good idea. I might try that too, actually. So copy link address, boom. Um. Uh. Anyway, so you know you can go through all that. Uh, T view. This is a kind of this groups all. Teespring campaigns over the course of however long Teespring's been running for actually. It's got quite a lot of search results. I mean, it goes up to page I think it well, I don't know if 214's the last. I think it goes over like a thousand. Um, but I've filtered it to what's active and best selling by numbers so you can go through this um, in case uh, teespring.com slash discover hasn't picked up any. I haven't picked up these and you can kind of go through and see what else are working. Um... Oh, there you go. Keep calm. It's a pit, not a freaking shark. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. A lot of people run away from pit bulls like me. I'm scared of them. I'm scared of dogs, actually. But anyway, that's a different story. Keep keep calm. It's a pit, not a freaking shark. So you can go, keep calm. It's a... um. What's another muscular dog? Mastiff. Mastiff. Not a freaking shark. So, I mean, you can try that. What you want is just variations of designs. So these designs, and there's proof that they're selling. Look, it's sold 160 out of 25. So you know that these are selling. So there's a demand for these kind of shirts. Um, another pretty cool thing is recently, I think a month ago, Teespring released a this search function. So what I normally do these days is press spacebar, enter, and it gives me pretty much all the shirts that are selling at the moment. 
I mean, who doesn't put Spacebar in their titles, right? So you're going to get every every shirt, I, w I would think. Um, but these, again, appear on teespring, teespring.com slash discover, but they're more, there's more of them. I think teespring.com slash discover only gives you the top 20, maybe. Um, see, I wouldn't do that. Oh. oh, I didn't see that thing at the back. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, except, what does that say? Except, I have no idea what this is. I don't even know what that is. Cures will kill you. Okay, well, you can always have something else instead of that will kill you at the back, and that could sell. So, every school deserves a full-time school librarian. Um, Anyway, you get the point, right? You're not looking for something generic. You don't want something like that. You want something where you can... As you do this more often, you'll get... You'll understand what I'm talking about when you're making a Facebook ad and you're like, okay, maybe I can drill down into school librarians in the USA or in a particular state even, where it's so specific where when your ad pops up in front of someone, they're going to be like... They're not just going to be like, oh, that's a funny shirt. They're going to be like, hey, whoa, I'm a librarian. I live in this state. I go to this school. That's the shirt exactly just for me. And you want that kind of response. You want an impulse buy or an impulse share. or That's what's going to improve your CTR, which is going to give you a lot more inexpensive um, costs for your clicks. And eventually it should give you a much more profitable campaign. So that's about it for our research video. Next video, I should be covering T Inspector, which is a paid alternative for all this stuff and what features it will be giving you, which these don't. So, yeah, hope you guys learnt a good deal about research in this video. I'll see you guys in the next.